Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. Welcome, welcome back. Shout out to you. Shout out to the Soul Tribe and the Soul Family. I appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you for your time, your love, and your support, loves. And welcome to the ones that are new here. It is a pleasure to have you here. Shout out to the comments, the feedbacks. I see you, I hear you, and I appreciate you, all right? So let's go ahead and get started here. Hit the like button, loves, as you all come in. That'd be very much appreciated, all right? And let's go ahead and see here their current feelings towards you. Yes, let's see what your person here, current feelings here is towards you. Come on in, hit that like button, let everyone know we're live. I hope everyone has enjoyed their day so far here and getting that rest and peace time in, coming towards the evening here and looking for another rising, all right? So come on in, show some love, all right? Thank you for your comments in the chat, the live chat as well. I appreciate you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and shout out to all the beautiful Patreon, the Evolving Spirits, the YouTube channel members coming in. I appreciate you. I know this is not a live stream, but I just want to make sure I'm shouting you out and appreciating you for coming in on the pre-recorded live stream as well. All right, so no further ado, let's dive in, all right? Let's get you a timestamp here, Rams. Come on in, Rams. I see you. Come on in. What do we have for my Aries? Welcome back, Aries. Welcome to your wake in tarot. Today's topic here for you, Aries, is their current feelings towards you. Yes. Let's see what is this person current feelings towards you. Let's see how they feel here towards you at this time here, Aries. Let's see what we have here for you. Wow, we have the moon card energy here. Some of y'all, this person could be a Cancer here, Aries, or a water sign here, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, all right? Or there could be something that you may not be aware about here, or you may didn't, you didn't find out here about until now, okay? Let's see how you feel about this now, or where are you at with things? We got the Three of Swords. This is something here that may have hurt you or uh, disappointed you regarding whatever this secret here was with the moon card or what this person may have kept from you here, okay? This could have been an air sign for others of you all, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here, all right? We have here the sun card here. That is Leo energy here, Aries. Some of you are this person may be a Leo here that you exchange energies here with, okay? But you're definitely now looking forward to what's to come for you and the things that you've manifested here for yourself, all right, let's see where you are going, headed here towards this energy and this person here, okay? Let's see how this person feels towards you or what action now that they're going to take since now that all of this has been either exposed or been put out here in the truth from whatever's been hidden here. Let's see how this person here feels. Wow, Rams, definitely if it's resonating for you, loves, hit that like button, Aries. That'd be very much appreciated. Let's see. How did this person feel? What are their feelings towards you? Wow, they kind of feel like you may be defending yourself, which is understandable, right? If you've been put in this position and you're feeling this way in the Three of Swords energy because of some type of information or secret here this person kept from you or wasn't being honest with you or front about, of course you're going to guard yourself here, okay? Uh, this person here, for others of you all, they may have kept themselves emotionally shut off from you here as well is what I'm picking up here. All right. Wow, Aries. So that is what we have here for you on how they are currently feeling towards you. They do see that you may be kind of just holding back or not putting too much time or effort into this relationship because they are aware of what maybe have transpired with you two in the past here, okay? So it's kind of like this person is being more understanding and not trying to, um, you know, come towards you in any way because of all other energy. I feel like there's a lot of distractions here as well in this relationship here, okay? Yeah, a lot of distractions here that you two try to both kind of be in a more peaceful environment and look towards this sun card energy here. 
wow aries i love it i definitely hope they gave you some insight and details on this person and their current feelings towards you definitely if so here aries don't forget to like subscribe we would love to have you again a part of our soul family and if you would love a full reading done come on over to patreon where i do provide all my zodiac sign or all the 12 zodiac sign for readings are now on patreon all right thank you so much rams Mwah. all right taurus let's go ahead and get you a timestamp here come on in bulls how are you i hope all has been well come on in welcome welcome shout out to the bulls welcome welcome thank you so much for the ones that have commented in the chat i appreciate you definitely show some love if you are enjoying the content thank you that'd be very much appreciated all right bulls let's get you a time stamp here and let's see all right their current feelings towards you bulls all right what do we have for my tories welcome back tours welcome to the awakened tarot Today's topic here for you, Taurus, is what are their current feelings towards you? Yes, let's see what are their current feelings towards you. Okay, we have the, um, this is the five, I'm sorry, this is a ten of swords, okay? Wow. So, someone here has put a situation here to an end. They're no longer going to be, uh, you know, taking in someone's way of, portraying them or doing things behind their back here someone is actually standing up to this person this could have been a pattern here that someone has finally been able to just you know let go of here all right is what i'm picking up from this person or this energy here all right but i do see you all here maybe guarding yourself from this person here you may be aware of what this person here has um you know dealt with here in the past this could be an air sign as well, Taurus, for you. This could be Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra here. So this person kind of feels like that you as well may have put some type of ending here or a relationship here to an end. So this person is aware that you may be single here just as much as they are aware, okay? Because they're single as well, yeah. So I feel like a conversation or... Uh, something here needs to be communicated between you two regarding this person and how they feel towards you. All right. Something here is needing to be communicated here that you both here have communicated. Well, more telepathically here, not really much saying anything, but definitely showing each other in different ways. How the Ace of Wands is here, how you both are again, what I was feeling here is intuitively here wanting to manifest with each other some of you all this person here could be a fire sign here Taurus. okay this could be a sagittarius a leo or an aries here now it may have took this person some time because of the situations and circumstances that they manifested themselves in so these wasn't relationships here that were, of course wasn't the best relationships or the best options here for this person to take but they took them okay and because of that, these are the results that they've gotten. But this is, I feel like, where that judgment energy or a wake-up call here has come through. So, and because of this, it's like someone may have gotten an epiphany here or is now have wrapped up this cycle that just actually now seeing because of the choices that they made. So now they kind of got a perspective of how I can make better choices and what can I start my new stage of enlightenment off with how can i now manifest now that i know from all these experiences what can be the best route for me to ever take is the energy that this i feel like this person here is in towards you <clears throat> so let's see how you feel bulls wow i love it bulls definitely if it's resonating for you so far hit that like button loves that'd be very much appreciated well, let's see how you feel as we close out your reading here today let's see how you feel here how does bull feel in this situation here? Mm, okay, we have here the six of cups here. All right, this is a person here that you may have known from your past here. This could have been a water sign here, a cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. Uh, this is more of a soulmate energy here, okay? Someone that you are aware of that I feel like is being given an uh, opportunity or maybe something that didn't work out between you two in the past because this person was not available or because you maybe wasn't available and this person maybe was with someone else who 
again, they got out of an obstacle and definitely a difficult challenge relationship, but they were able to end things here, okay? So, wow, that is what we have there for you, Bulls, in regarding your person and how they feel towards you. I definitely hope that helped Bulls and gave you some insight regarding the person. Definitely, if so, loves, don't forget to like, subscribe, Bulls, and I definitely look forward to you all's next reading. And if you would love the full readings and if you would love full all zodiac signs reading that is now available on youtube i'm sorry on patreon now as well all right thank you bulls Mwah. wow i love it i definitely wish you the best there bulls thank you thank you gemini welcome welcome hi twinkies come on in shout out to everyone that is in the chat i hope all is well Thank you so much. Hit the like button as you all come in, please. That'd be very much appreciated. Thank you. All right, gems. Let's get you a timestamp here and let's see about your person current feelings. What do we have for my Gemini? Welcome back, gems. Welcome to your Awaken Tarot. Today's topic here for you, gems, is their current feelings towards you. Yes, let's see what is this person here current feelings towards you. What is this person current feelings here towards you? Let's see here, gems. Wow, we have the two of swords. There's your energy or element here. That's air sign. Some of you know this person may be an air sign here like yourself. All right, this could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. Okay, someone is in the middle of making a decision here or trying to contemplate, I feel like, here about making a decision here. So this person here and their current feelings is they are in their head about making a decision regarding coming towards you or maybe reaching out to you, communicating to you. You two may not be in communication with each other. Yeah, we got the Eight of Swords here. And the reason why they're contemplating about this, because whatever reason here, Gemini, they feel stuck, okay? They feel like because of what they may have done or whatever that may have transpired between you two, this person feels like here that uh, because of their guilt and because you are aware of this, is having a difficult time with this person coming towards you and maybe even admitting this or holding themselves accountable here. Again, this could be an air sign here, Jims. Wow, we have the Ace of Wands, but it's like, Either you're looking forward to reconciling with this person or you're looking forward to what's ahead of you, Gemini. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how you feel about this person and how um, the results here is going to turn out between you two in this situation here. Wow, Gems. Stuff if it resonates for you, hit that like button, Gemini. That'd be very much appreciated. If you would love the four readings, I do have all the Zodiac sign readings on Patreon, all right? Let's see where you're at in this situation or energy here. What is going on with you and Tarot Land here? What we got for my gems? What do we have for the Twinkies here? Where's Gemini at in this situation, okay? You're uh, more at peace with yourself right now. You're trying to balance out your own, I feel like, situations and circumstances and things that you may have going on intuitively. You're more focusing in on yourself and being patient with yourself, doing a lot of self-caring, self-healing at this time here, all right? Even though this person is over here, I feel like going back and forward, tit for tat, you're trying to stay more focused on Gemini and what matters to Gemini here, okay? Wow, so that is what we have there for you, Gems, regarding your person and their current feelings here towards you. Definitely if that helping gave you some insight regarding this person or just some clarification and confirmation for you. Don't forget again to like, subscribe, and I definitely look forward to your next reading. All right. Thank you, Gems. Mwah. Wow. Definitely wish you the best there, Gems. You keep moving forward, okay? Count Syrian, welcome. What's good? What's good, crabs? Come on in. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Thank you for coming by and showing up and giving your shout outs. I appreciate you. Yes. Yes, show some love. I'm here showing up for you. Show up for me. Hit the like button. That'd be very much appreciated. All right, Count Sirius. Let's see what is your person current feelings towards you. 
What do we have for my count? Syrian, welcome back, Cancers. Welcome to your Awakened Tarot. Today's topic here for you, Cancer, is their current feelings towards you right now. Let's see what is the person that you are exchanging energy to with. Let's see what are their current feelings here for you right now. Let's see what is this person's current feelings here for you right now. The Queen of Pentacles here. Wow. They think very highly of you and they respect you for who you are and what you have manifested here. This person see you as their queen or their king here. All right. This could be an earth sign here. This could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or Virgo here for some of you all. Yeah, buddy. That's what I was feeling here, Cancerian. <laughs> Okay, this person is always enjoying being in your energy here, okay? Uh, this uh, Some of you all could be a water sign like yourself, okay? This could be a Pisces, a Scorpio here, Count Searing, or a Cancer like yourself. Some of you all, uh, this is someone new that you're getting to know here. You two have maybe been doing a couple of dates here, here and there, and exchanging energies and getting to know each other here. All right, yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles here, okay? Some of y'all, again, Earth energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, you're in the energy of just enjoying life and taking everything in consideration that comes your way and learning from your experiences here is where I feel like uh, things are at with you and this person here. This person really acknowledges you a lot and they love being around you here at Count Siren. Okay, wow. So I love their current feelings towards you for so far. Okay, definitely if you love it, hit that like button, loves. Yes. Let's now see how you feel. Let's close out your reading here and see how you feel about this connection here with this person here. Where is Count Siren energy and in this energy here? Where and how do Count Siren here feel? Wow, we have the world cards here, okay? You are in a space where you're at the end of a cycle here, and you're now in a new space, a new energy where you may have just moved, you may have gotten a new place, uh, you may have relocated here, and you're just ready for the new beginnings here. Whatever this cycle from the past that maybe was very difficult or challenge for you to overcome, you did it. All right, and you're happy about it. You're out more enjoying nature and you're just taking on any, you know, casual dating, I feel like as well here. And you're just more going with the flow, I feel like you're counseling as well. All right, even when it comes to this connection and how you feel towards this person, you're just going with the flow and what happens, happen and what don't, don't. I feel like that's where you all are at counseling. Wow, I love it. Definitely if you love it, counseling. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe. All right, we would definitely love to have you a part of our soul family. All right, if you would love four readings, come on over to Patreon when you get four readings and for all the other zodiac signs as well, Count Siren. I love you. Mwah. Wow, I love it. I love it. I love it. I definitely wish you the best there, Count Siren. Leos, come on in. Lions, how are you? Welcome back. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Thank you so much for your comments and your feedback. I appreciate you. Let's now move forward to Lions and let's see what is your person here, current feelings towards you. Let's get you a timestamp for Leo's and let's see what is your person, current feelings towards you. What do we have for my Leo's? Welcome back, Leo's. Welcome to your weight in tarot. Today's topic for you is their current feelings towards you. Yes, let's see what are their current feelings towards you. What are their current feelings towards my lions? Wow, we have the three of wands here. They're definitely looking forward to this connection here. This person is aware because they intentionally wanted to be a part of manifesting this opportunity here with you. All right, or to come towards you or communicate with you. Some of y'all, this person may be at a distance from you. They could be in another city or another state. Uh, they could just be somewhere where they have to either intuitively go within and manifest some type of way to reach out to you, or they are trying to think about this if they're at a distance from you. This could have been someone you met online or someone long distance from you, Leos. Wow, we got the Four of Pentacles here. 
This could be an earth sign here for some of you all, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or Virgo. But I kind of see you kind of holding back from this person. You're not so much engaged with what this person has to offer you. I feel like you are aware of what it is. You know what they're wanting to bring to the table here. But I feel like you're not as much either trusting it or wanting to get involved in it with this person, okay? Or whatever this offer here this person is wanting to send your way. Yeah. Oh, so now I see why here, uh, Leos. It's because these are individuals that this person may still use exchanging energies with. These could be exes of this person here. They could have a lot of drama going on around them here. And I feel like this is why you're holding back or sitting on this chest here because you're not wanting to put in a time and effort with someone that has all this going on. This could be someone that dates multiple people or date multiple women or men here, okay? However it resonates for you. And you know that this is not worth your time. And if you're going to have to deal with this type of energy or this person is not going to know how to put these energies in control, okay? Uh, you're holding back from this here. So let's see. Let's see what the results of this connection here uh, can be here regarding this person and their current feelings towards you. Wow, lions. Definitely, if this resonates for you, hit that like button, loves. That definitely will be appreciated. That gets the message out to your fellow lions. Let's see. What is the outcome here with this situation here in spirit? We got, wow, your energy. I love it. Okay. The strength core Leo energy. The outcome here is, is that you're going to be able to evolve and become a better version of yourself and know how to really get tapped in with you, with the lion, with your higher self here, because you avoid this type of situation here. So this is going to allow you to run smoothly and stay in order with the divine and what they have for you. And this is what I feel like you're leaving past or in the past. So this is a relationship or a person or a connection that you now know is not no longer serving you for your highest good and healthy for you. Okay, so you're taking the battle route. And it's almost as if in reality, further on down the line, Leos, you're going to realize that you fucking dodged a bullet. Okay, I'm just saying because you might see this person a couple years later and be like, wow, I'm so glad I made, you know, you been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Let's just say that. Okay, Lions. Wow. But that is what we have there for you, Leos, regarding uh, the person or in their current feelings here that they have lions towards you. Again, definitely if that resonated for you, don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, a part of the Soul Family Leos. And if you would love four readings, all right, by me for other zodiac signs as well, definitely come on over to the Patreon and get four readings for each zodiac sign, all right? Thank you so much, lions. Mwah. Wow, I love it. I wish you the best, Leos. Yes. Virgos, come on in. How are you? Welcome, welcome, Virgos. Happy, happy birthday. Yes, Virgos, happy birthday. I wish you all peace, love, and abundance. All right, so let's get you a timestamp. All right, let's see your person, their current feelings, and shout out to everyone in the chat. Thank you so much. Hit the like button if you are enjoying the content. It would be very much appreciated. All right, Virgos, let's get you a time stamp here. What do we have for my Virgos? Welcome back, Virgos. Welcome to your Awakened Tarot. Today's topic here for you, Virgos, is their current feelings towards you right now. Yes, let's see. What is this person here, current feelings here, Virgos, towards you right now? Let's see how they feel. Wow, we have the Queen of Swords here. Either they feel like that you're guarding yourself from them or you're being very protected of your energy here. This person may feel like you're still defending yourself or guarding yourself from this person here, all right, or just showing up, you know, not so much open emotionally to this person here is how this person feels towards you, okay? This could be a fire sign here, an Aries. I'm also getting here. I'm also getting here in Sagittarius, Leo, okay, or again, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. Here's what I wanted to say, but all these other zodiac signs came up, I heard consciously in my head, okay? So let's see what else here. We have the High Priestess, Pisces energy here, Virgo. Some of y'all, this person may be a Pisces, okay? Someone could be getting tarot readings done on you or listening in on tarot readings about you as well, 
all right this could be someone where i feel like you and this person knows what's going on or you know at least what happened between you two you both are aware of that okay that's just an fyi a sidebar there okay yeah so let's see where else this is going here regarding this person their current feelings towards you wow we have the seven of pinnacles but because of i feel like this person knows this they want to still manifest and invest in this connection this relationship here with you so even though whatever that they may have done to maybe upset you virgos or disappoint you or even may have you feeling a little regret here they still want to move forward to your and invest or build something together with you okay rather that's to restore or rebuild i don't know honey but they definitely are still interested in you okay uh let's see how you feel about this person here let's see how you feel here wow virgos definitely if it's resonating for you hit that like button loves that'd be very much appreciated virgos let's see where you're at in this person's energy or how you feel spirit show me how virgo here fear regarding this situation or this connection here please wow we have the sun cards here well you're all forward okay you are thinking positive about this person and this offer here, okay? So again, like I said, because you know what this person is offering or what they have to offer here. So you're definitely looking forward towards it and remaining positive here, Virgos. But you're doing it in a more smart way, I would say, with showing up in that Queen of Swords energy, all right? But wow, I love it, Virgos. I definitely hope this message here helped give you some insight and confirmation for you. And definitely, if so, Virgos, don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family. And if you would love four readings done by me, my link is down below where you can join Patreon and get all the Zodiac signs for readings done on Patreon, all right? Thank you so much, Virgos. Mwah. Wow, I love it, I love it, I love it. Libras, come on in. Welcome, welcome. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Thank you so much. Please hit that like button, loves, as you all come in. That'd be very much appreciated. All right, Libras, come on in. Welcome, welcome. Let's get your time stamp here and let's see about your person and their current feelings towards you. What do we have for my Libra? Welcome back, Libras. Welcome to your Wake and Tarot. Today's topic here for you, Libra, is what are their current feelings towards you? Yes, let's see. What is this person's current feelings here towards you? Wow, we have the Ace of Swords here. Your person's current feelings towards you is that they want to tell you how they truly feel. Rather, if that's in a good way or a bad way, or they're in the energy of wanting to tell you the truth about a situation or the truth of just how they feel about you. Some of y'all, this person could be an air sign like yourself here. All right. Wow. They're definitely going to be expressing themselves in an emotional way here. So it looks like this person is about to open up to you emotionally here. And I feel like this is something that this person never has done as much or never really expressed themselves emotionally wise, maybe done it in other ways. And how they communicate to you. But I feel like this is going to give you the clarity and what you needed to know. Or this could be like I'm getting a situation that happens. And it shows you what you maybe was trying to ask about or look for in this person. But I feel like whatever situation that came about. You were able to see how this person truly feel. Or as wise emotionally towards you here. Okay. And some of y'all, this person could be a water sign here, Libra. This could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. Yeah, look at that. We have the Six of Cups here. A lot of love here. A lot of feelings are going to be expressed here towards this person because they definitely currently uh, is in love with you, have feelings towards you. And this is more of a soulmate energy. This is someone that's going to be here to help you evolve. You both are going to be able to help each other evolve here and become better versions of yourself. But So this is not a relationship that you could just get rid of. You could always come around and find each other in some way here as this type of connection with this person. So this is for some of you all, you've already exchanged energies with this person here once before, Libra. Okay. Wow. I love it. Yes. Libra, definitely, if you love it, hit that like button. Loves that'd be very much appreciated. Let's now close out and see how you feel, Libra. 
Libra. Yes. Let's see what are your current feelings here towards this person here. Yeah, you didn't think I was going to ask that question, huh? Uh-huh. Let's see what are your current feelings here towards that or, you know, towards that. So some of y'all, you may feel like th they may not feel like as important as what is being channeled here right now. You may feel like this is not a, a, a relevant conversation or very important for you to listen in on so some of you all may feel that way about this person this is just typically how you feel about this person here but some of you all may be over this person here already okay so let's see what the tarot says let's close out here and see where is libra energy at towards this person or in this energy and space right now show me libra energy here in this connection here according to angels thank you Wow. Well, you're looking forward to it here as well. This card is seeming to be very popular today. All right. Leo energy here as well, Libra. Some of y'all, who is this Libra that you just can't get away from? Okay. And others of you, it could be a water sign here. You can't just get enough of here. Okay. But however, this is someone here that you are definitely looking forward to seeing where the relationship can go and just trying to make sure to remain positive here. All right, and I feel like, like I said, whatever situation that's needed to happen or for you that needed to get a confirmation for yourself, I feel like that's what's allowing you to either, you know, just move forward in peace. Rather, what the outcome with this connection turns out to between you two, it's going to be in a positive way to bring peace to the relationship here. Okay, wow, Libra. Oh, my goodness. I love, love, love the message there. All right, definitely if that resonated for you, Libra. Okay, like, like, get that message out to your fellow Libra. Subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of the Soul Family. And if you would love to have full readings by me and all other zodiac signs, join the Patreon by clicking the link down below. All right, thank you so much, Libra. I appreciate you. Mwah. Wow, I love it. Come on in, Scorpios. Yes, how are you, Scorps? Welcome, welcome. Thank you all so much. Shout out to everyone in the chat and showing love. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Come on in, Scorps. All right, let's see what we have here for Scorpios. Let's see about your person and their current feelings towards you. Let's get you a timestamp. Thank you so much. Thank you for hitting the like button. I appreciate you. All right, what do we have for my Scorpios? Welcome back, Scorpios. Welcome to your Wake and Tarot. Today's topic here for you, Scorpios, is their current feelings towards you right now, Scorpios. Yes, let's see. What is this person's current feelings here towards you right now? Let's see what is their current feelings. We have here the Six of Pentacles here for some of you all. This person could be an earth sign here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, and a Virgo energy here. This person definitely is looking forward to this partnership or whatever connection here that you two maybe are deciding to take to the next level here. Wow, we have the Five of Pentacles. And because you're deciding to do this or this person sees you as someone that they would love to be around or just come together and collaborate here with, others that this person may have left or is leaving out in the cold here that could have an ex here that they are no longer in a relationship here with Scorpios or dating here, uh, heavy on the earth energy here as well, that they are deciding here to leave and be where they feel like they are happy and, and just enjoying their space and energy here, okay? Wow, so let's clarify this five of Pentacles energy here for Scorpio. Tell me more about this person and their current feelings here towards Scorpio. And some of y'all I'm getting here that if whoever this person here is that you are aware of, all right, they feel left out in the cold here from you, okay? Or the fact that you two may not be um, communicating here, all right? Let's see. Wow. Yeah, we got the King of Cups here. There's your energy showing up here. You're showing up in your reading today, Scorpio. Some of you know, this person may be a Scorpio like yourself here. We also have the Nine of Cups here. Wish for fulfillment. Yeah, they're definitely got someone here that's maybe upset with them because they are, 
you know, seeing that you can fulfill them so much on an emotional level here and they feel so much at peace around you that they are aware that they're having to, you know, leave some people in the past that maybe is going to feel some type of way, Scorpios, okay? This person could even be relocating here, all right, to come closer towards you here, what I'm also picking up here, but this person know that it's going to be worth it, okay? They know from what they experienced in the past and how they even feel left out in the cold from these individuals and they were there, okay? So, wow, Scorpios, that is what we have for you when it comes to your person and their current feelings towards you. Definitely, if that resonated for you, Scorpios, don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you here part of our soul family, all right? Be sure to adjust your notification bells for when I go live on this platform as well. And if you would love your full readings, come on over to Patreon for full readings for all zodiac signs as well, Scorpios. Mwah. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, Sagittarius. Come on in, Archers. How are you? <clears throat> I hope all is well, Archers. Come on in. Hit the like button, Sagittarius. That'd be very much appreciated. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Archers. Let's get you a timestamp here. And let's see what is your person's current feelings. What do we have for my Sagittarius? Welcome back, Sagittarius. Welcome to your Wake in Tarot. Today's topic here for you, Sagittarius, is what are their current feelings towards you? Yes, let's see what are their current feelings here towards you. Show me this person's current feelings here. Thank you. We have the Emperor is here, Divine Masculine Energy here. This could be an Aries or Aquarius here, Sagittarius, that is currently thinking about you here. This could also be a fire sign here like yourself. We got Four of Wands Energy here. All right, Leo Energy there, Sagittarius Energy, and Aries, okay? This could have been someone that you may have... Um, been in a relationship here within the past so this is someone that definitely sees you as someone that, that they would love to build a partnership here with or come into some type of agreement or union together here okay let's see what else okay yeah this person is so serious about this with you Sagittarius whether if you know this or not here someone definitely sees that they could be able to put in the same effort time and love that you will be. They're basically here, Sagittarius, on the same page here with you. All right, so let's see how you feel, okay? It's like they already have it planned out and mapped out here, but they're showing me with the map here because this person knows what they want. So whoever this person here is, rather if you met this person already here because this is showing up in your past energy, or if you haven't, okay, there's going to be some type of way this person is going to come in and you know, they're not going to be able to, they're not going to be wasting time for one. They're going to be very honest and direct here with you. Um, but they're also in a space where they now know where they, what this emperor now knows what they want. Okay. So this is going to be something that I feel like you two are going to be exchanging energies and celebrating very quickly here because of that. It's like you both, um, like I mentioned, are on the same page. So what you're trying to do or manifest is just going to run smoothly here. I feel like for the both of you all, okay? Wow, Archer. So let's see how you feel about this here offer here. Let's see how do you feel and what are your current feelings towards this person? Where is Sagittarius at in this offer here or with this person? How do they currently feel about this person here? Show me Sagittarius' energy here, spirit, and how they feel. Wow, Sagittarius, definitely if it's resonating for you, hit that like button, Archers, that'd be very much appreciated. Okay, the tower. So you may be surprised about this. You may didn't even see this shit coming, Sagittarius. All right, and the universe had to come in and do a little twinkle, twinkle there and a twinkle, twinkle there, okay? So you might be surprised about this. Let me clarify this tower. Okay, tell me more about Sagittarius's energy and how they feel about this opportunity here or this offer that's coming in here regarding this person's current feelings here. Thank you. Wow, we have the Empress here. Look at that. You two are a counterpart. You're definitely on the same page with each other. You're definitely on the same frequency and vibration. You're definitely a divine counterpart. 
All right, so this definitely makes sense about the Four of Wands and the Six of Pentacles here. This is a divine union and partnership here, okay? And I feel like whatever it is that you two may have been establishing or even working on, this is how you two end up meeting or crossing paths with each other, rather if you know this person or not. And others of you all, you are now settling down with this person here, okay? This person is now coming towards you and offering commitment here, and this may be a surprise to you. Yeah, look at you. You're like, oh my goodness, it's so many opportunities coming towards me all at once. I don't know what to do. Okay, that's the energy. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, Sagittarius. That is the energy that you're getting here. Some of y'all might need to work on your throat chakra and speak up, all right, on how you feel because you're definitely going to have a situation where you're going to be in this position where you're going to have not only love romantic offers here or partnerships, but also when it comes to your career and opportunities with ways to create what it is that you're wanting to establish for yourself. Wow, Archers, I love it. This was beautiful. All right, definitely, if you love it, hit that like button, Sagittarius. Again, that'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe. We would love to have you here, a part of our soul family. And if you enjoy the readings here, come on over to Patreon where you can get your full reading and any other Zodiac sign reading as well. All right, thank you so much, Sagittarius. I love you. Mwah. Oh my goodness, I love it. Capricorn. Come on in, goats. Come on in. Welcome, welcome. Yes, yeah, shout out to everyone in the chat. I appreciate you. All right, Capricorns. Let's see what we have here for you. Let's see what is this person current feelings towards you. Come on in, Capricorn. Show some love. Hit the like button. That would be very much appreciated. All right, what do we have for my Capricorn? Welcome back, Capricorns. Welcome to your Awakened Tarot. Today's topic here for you, Capricorns, is their current feelings towards you. Let's see what is this person's current feelings towards you right now, okay? Let's see what is this person's current feelings towards you. Wow, we have here the Two of Pentacles here, Earth Element, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Some of y'all, this person may be an earth sign like yourself. Others of you all, this person may, that you feel like in the past was having a lot going on at one time, trying to juggle their love life here and also trying to juggle their career here, okay? You may ran across this person where they were at a very challenging, difficult time in their life, okay? Let's see what else here. We have here is the moon cards here. This is Count Syrian energy here. Others of you, this person could be a Pisces or a Scorpio here, all right? But this is the energy here of you may found out that this person was either uh, juggling something or someone else that they was not being honest or communicating with you about, okay? Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands energy here. Now, this is a fire sign here. Some of you are Capricorn. This person could be a fire sign. That's particularly Leo's energy there with the Queen of Wands. All right, this could be a queen or a king here or an Aries or a Sagittarius here. All right, others of you all, I mentioned this could be a Scorpio or a Cancer here as well with the moon card. But whomever this energy here is, it's like now they want to take action here. So maybe what was exposed and what you found out, rather if you found out Capricorns through a mutual friend or through family here, it's like someone wants to take action here towards you or now they may be available where they can be emotionally or available to you as far as if you two are wanting to build a relationship with each other here. All right. Wow, goes. I love it so far. Definitely, if you love it, hit that like button, Capricorns. That would be very much appreciated. Let's see where you are at in this situation here. Let's see how you feel, Capricorns, and what is your current feelings towards this person or this energy here for whomever this is resonating here with today. Let's see how you feel, goes. How do you feel towards this person here because of what maybe have happened or transpired between you two in the past here? Let's see where are you at in this person's energy and how you feel. All right, we have the temperance card here, okay? 
you're wanting just balance. You're trying to stay more focused on you and inward here. All right. You're trying to be more patient with yourself and be more understanding here. All right. But you're in a place right now where you're focusing more on balance. And this is what may throw you off with this person, Capricorn, because when you met them, they may throw you off balance here because of the type of attention that they may get or the typical job that they may have had here and may require a lot of attention here. And this is something that, you know, you may got thrown off guard here with because of some things that you wasn't with the moon card, you wasn't aware of. So as you may have gotten slowly but surely exposed to things here and there, I feel like you may have, you know, either pulled back your energy from this person to focus more on you, okay? And again, some of y'all with the temperance card here, this could be a Sagittarius here. All right, wow, ghost, that is what we have for you when it comes to this person and their current feelings. I definitely hope that helped and gave you some insight regarding this person here. And definitely, if so, ghosts, don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you, Cappy, as a part of our soul family. And if you enjoy the readings, you would love full readings from the platform here. Come on over to Patreon. You can get full readings done. And that's for all other zodiac signs as well, Capricorn. Thank you so much. Mwah. Wow. All right. I wish you the best, Lord Capricorn. Wow. Aquarius, come on in, Aquas. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Thank you for your comments. I appreciate you. Definitely, if you are enjoying the live stream, you're enjoying the content, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe. We would love to have you here. And welcome to the ones that are new. Welcome, welcome. All right, Aquas, let's get you a time stamp, your loves, and let's see this person's current feelings here towards you, all right? What do we have from my Aquarius? Welcome back, Aquarius. Welcome to your wake in tarot. Today's topic here for you, Aquarius, is what are their current feelings towards you? Yes, let's see what is this person's current feelings towards you that you are exchanging energies here with. Let's see what they want to say. How do they feel? Let's see here, Aquarius. Wow, look at you showing up in your reading today. I love it. The star card. This is your energy. Aquarius energy. Let's see here. Now, my apologies here. This is more energy of you coming into your own. All right. You're actually in the highest energy here within your frequency vibration where you're being able to be tuned in here with the cosmos and manifesting here whatever you're manifesting above it is now manifesting now in the 3d realm all right you're definitely in the space of your own right now let's see what else here yeah look at that the ten of pentacles here some of y'all are going to find yourself blending families here with someone here okay this could be an earth sign for some of you all a taurus a capricorn a virgo here okay <clears throat> we also have here the four of pentacles all right, some of y'all, this person could be an earth sign here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, again, a Virgo here. But I kind of get that maybe whoever this person here is, okay, they could be a mother or father figure here as well. But whoever this person here is, um, either you may be more focusing inward on yourself, again, because you're in a mana state, you're in a state of meditating and manifesting things for yourself. So you may not be focused more um, externally or in regarding relations with others right now. I do kind of see you holding back from this offer or what that this person has to offer you. It's a great offer. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you may feel like the person is great. The, the kids are great. Um, but you may feel like right now you're wanting to focus more on what you can do. Some of y'all, I feel like done tapped into your power or what your creative what your creativity is or what it is that you are very great at or that you can manifest and be creative at so you're wanting to focus more on that right now is what i'm also picking up here wow aquarius so let's see what the outcome here 
could be between you and this person and their current feelings here because this person definitely see you as like you know the world to them or someone that they want to give all their time and investment in here and it's like you know what this person is capable of and what in the relationship could turn out to be but you don't want to be selfish but at the same time i feel like you don't discovered a new you or something here that you know you are capable of being able to do and manifest and I feel like that's what you're more wanting to focus on. But let's see what the outcome here between you and this person and their current feelings here towards you. Wow, Aquarius. I love it. Definitely, if you love it, Aquarius, hit that like button. Loves it. would be very much appreciated. Wow. Let's see what the outcome here could be. Wow, the queen. I'm sorry. Hmm. I want to say the king of wands. I've clearly heard the queen. So the queen of wands could be very significant. This is Leo energy here. So I do see in the future that actions is going to be taken regarding this situation or circumstance here. All right. Maybe it's in a nick of time where you're kind of finishing up whatever you've manifested here. Because now what you again manifested, you started here in the uh, spiritual realm here. And now since everything is going in order and you can actually see what you manifested so maybe in the future, I feel like you two will take action towards this or give this another opportunity here. Okay, but wow, Aquarius, that is what we have for you when it comes to this person and their current feelings. I definitely hope that helped and gave you some insight here regarding this person. Definitely if so. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love, love, love to have you here, of course, a part of our soul family. And if you would love your full readings done by me, definitely come on over to Patreon. The link is down below in the description box. And we would love to have you, Aquarius. Mwah. Wow, I love it. All right, Pisces. Saving the best for last. Come on in, fishes. How are you, mermaids? Welcome, welcome. Hit the like button, Pisces, as you all come in. Let your fellow Pisces know that we are live on Channel 5. Well, we're not necessarily live, but, you know, I always say that. I love saying that, okay? All right, Pisces, let's get you a timestamp here. Welcome, welcome. Let's see what is your person current feelings here for you. Let's see what do you need to know about this person current feelings here towards you. All right, let's see. What do we have for my Pisces? Welcome back, Pisces. Welcome to your wake in tarot. Today's topic here for you, Pisces, is what are their current feelings towards you? Yes, let's see what are their current feelings towards you. What is this person current feelings here towards Pisces? What do Pisces here need to know about this person's current feelings here towards them? Show me this person's energy here, please. What do Pisces need to know? Okay, we have here the Three of Pentacles here. So this person definitely wants to collaborate with you uh, in regarding how they feel towards you. This is someone here that you may work with or you may have met this person at your working environment here. All right, but this is definitely energy here that don't mind working or collaborating with you or wanting to communicate with you. Okay, yeah, look at that, the four of wands. Okay, this, some of y'all, this person definitely see you as someone that they would love to actually date or be in a relationship here with, okay? Uh, some of y'all, like I mentioned, you may have met this person or going to meet this person out at some type of social event. Others of you all, Pisces, this person could be a, a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, or I feel like the way how you two meet is in regarding something that you two are working on or are having to so happily both do at the same time. And some of y'all could have met this person while you were out doing whatever that is, okay, is what I'm intuitively picking up here as well. Um, yeah, let's see what else here. Mm, okay, the Eight of Swords here, Air Elements here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It's like even though you or this person may have this way of how they are loving and enjoying collaborating with you but they also feel like that there is something here either um that's holding them back from maybe giving you a genuine offer or they may feel like this with you um they may feel like that you're kind of you know not so much engaged with this person but at the same time it's like something here mentally wise or whatever may have happened either in 
your past here, Pisces, or this person's past here, it's kind of what holds this person back. It's like they get so excited here in this Four of Wands energy here, and then boom, they get to thinking about either maybe what happened to them from someone in a past relationship here, or what they may have done towards someone else. The Eight of Swords indicates someone that is feeling guilty or feeling stuck, that could be mentally stuck, or literally uh, because of these behavior patterns or choices that they made, they're sitting here in the guilt of it and either they're going to get up and hold themselves accountable or they're going to sit here and, you know, either choose to blame others for their choices. And I feel like that was maybe the situation or circumstance here either with this person or with you two. Okay, this could be someone that you were in a relationship here with Pisces as well. But the way how they feel about you it's still the same. They just having a hard time with knowing what they either done to you or what had happened in their past. It's kind of still there in their head, in their mind here. Okay. And it kind of hunts them sometime or it kind of gets brought back to their attention. They haven't necessarily let go of the pain or whatever had happened in their past or had happened between you two in the past here. So let's see how you feel here, Pisces. Wow, I love it. I love it. Definitely, if you love it, Pisces, hit that like button. Those that'd be very much appreciated. Let's see here. Let's see where you're at in this person's energy and as far as how you feel. What are your current feelings here, Pisces, as we close out your reading? Let's see where are you at in this situation here and how you feel show me pisces energy here please spirit thank you so much okay we have here the nine of swords you're kind of in your head about this as well all right you could even be almost worried about this so it's like you both are matching each other energy or you both or in an energy of guilt or feeling stuck or wary. So you two may both feel like there was something here regarding whatever happened between you two in the past. You both feel guilty for either not taking upon the opportunity uh, to maybe see where things go in the future or because of maybe something you done and you know you were guilty for a Pisces and something and this person done and know that they were guilty for. So it kind of it seems like I would put both whatever may have happened past you two and just move forward. All right, just start fresh on a clean slate. That way that helps both of you all to keep a clear mind that whatever I've done to hurt you, whatever you've done to hurt me, we now put it down. We now put it in the past and we're going to move forward and give each other a fresh start, okay? That's just what that sounds like there, okay? Oh, that sounds so cute. Oh, my God. It's almost like a fucking Disney energy there, okay? But, wow, Pisces, that is what we have for you. I love how we close out the reading with that beautiful message there, okay? If that resonated for you, fishes, hit that like button. That'd be very much appreciated. I thank you so, so much, all right? And if you would love your four readings, I now have four readings and also including water sign available on Patreon. If you would love to get your readings from me on Patreon and along with the other Zodiac signs, all right? Thank you so much, Pisces, for your love and your support. I appreciate you. And I definitely look forward to the next live stream or Wake and Tarot. Thank you so much, all right? All right, Evolving Spirits, thank you so much, Patreon and Soul Family. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming in and thank you for listening in to the chat. It was an honor to assist each and every one of you all, and I definitely look forward to the next reading. Thank you so much, loves. Bye-bye.